So now Verone recently posted a picture of he and Priscilla going to the Barbie movie, which I thought was an interesting topic to talk about. And um, so I went to pull down that picture to show you guys and lo and behold, Navarone went live and started talking a little bit about Father State's Day and his uh, not so good relationship with Marco Garibaldi. So I thought I'd cover both in a, in, in a different way. So bear with me. Um, and it's Father's Day in Brazil. Oh man, <laughs> my nightmares have been less nightmare lately, but I always have dreams that I see my dad, and then, but it's like I see him and I'm friendly to him, but I'm like, this isn't like a lasting thing, I'm just being nice because I'm not going to be an asshole, you know? And then, like, in the dream, like, the next day, like, I call him on accident. And I'm like, oh, shit, I totally didn't mean to call. But it's not realistic, because I don't even have his phone number anyway. So it looks like uh, Marco, uh, I'm sorry, Navarone and Marco are not on speaking terms. To the point where Navarone's saying he doesn't even have his phone number. Uh, he goes on past that to talk about... Uh, you know, he's, he called him, um, uh, ha he said he would say happy Frauders day and how he, um, claiming that Marco had, uh, other illegitimate children and so on and such, just a lot of things it just didn't sound good. And I know I did a previous video on Navarone and Marco specifically, just trying to figure out what is the deal uh because this is someone that priscilla was married to for 22 years and the father of Ma i'm sorry the spouse or the common law with for 22 years um it says in lisa marie presley's trust that he was the spouse but she doesn't claim him to be mm. anyhow the man that she was with for 22 years is essentially dropped off the face of the earth the only stories I could get from that were that Marco uh, apparently had claimed that he was he came from a wealthy Italian family, and it was later found out that he came from a more poor Brazilian family, and this caused, when Navarone found out about it, they all separated ways and never spoke again, which I don't understand stand that but obviously it was enough to cause an uh, enough of a rift there's another part of the story or there's another uh second version of what may or may not have happened and this is reported in the news to a certain degree where marco did join lisa marie uh in suing priscilla and barry siegel in 2018 surrounding the mismanagement of elvis presley enterprises and her funds and where she then removed them as co-trustees and after that time navarone did get on his instagram and post really negative things about lisa marie wishing that she was dead and other things but essentially accusing her of being of separating the family or causing the strife between he and Marco Garibaldi, and that is when Navarone changed his name from Navarone Garibaldi to Navarone Garcia. Either way, it doesn't seem like they, that they have a very good relationship, and uh, none of us can really figure out why. Uh, it seems like Marco was uh, with Priscilla uh, for a long period of time, and they were both in the Church of Scientology. And I can tell that by looking back on the history of when um, they separated in 2006. Just before then, in 2005, that is apparently when Navarone joined the Church of Scientology when he was 17. And he was pulled over while driving. He was on, I believe it was Mushrooms, and it's a... Uh, New York Post article, hallucinogenic mushrooms and smoking pot. So he was pulled over and then apparently placed by obviously his parents into the church student volunteer minister course. And that is by the Scientologist and the Scientologists are largely touted for um, 
their drug rehabilitation programs that they that they have throughout the country, and that's a lot of their recruiting tactics, as well as they claim to have uh, some sort of methods that they use to assist people in rehabilitation in regards to drug use. Secondly, there is a news report about Priscilla having written up Lisa Marie Presley in a document dated around the year 2000, and this is something that's called a knowledge report. And this is a a tactic or a practice that is used by the Scientologists. And this was reported by an organization that uh, their effort is to expose Scientology. And they claim they have a five-page document report on her for things that she's doing incorrectly. Their personal relationships are being corroded over time. So it's easy to walk away from someone. It's easy to be disassociated from any real emotion from people that you love. Knowledge reports are the epitome of a snitching culture. Priscilla wrote up that she was essentially uh, not be, Lisa Marie Presley was not being loyal. She was gabbing with outsiders and uh, just a general formal complaint turning her in for her wrongdoings. And um, so that was definitely during the time that Priscilla was with Marco. So I'm pretty sure that they've got the Scientology tied together. It's all I can think of in regards to this disassembled relationship that she had with him and now her circling back around to this full-on press regarding her relationship that she had with Elvis that is full of untold stories and the love affair that they had yet nothing is being spoken about Marco and I can't even determine there is really no I mean, with Elvis, there was what seemed like a tumultuous relationship, and she has been very public about that. She claims that she was you know, basically ad- abducted as a child, that he was violent with her, that he didn't have sex with her, and that they both cheated on each other, but then they split in, a, in an amicable way. Marco, I can't... I have... Even if he did some of those things, it doesn't add up. Supposedly, he signed an NDA. That's what the rumors are. Yet, Navarone can get online and go live even just one time that I found him and literally drag that man's name through the mud and get real emotional about it, too. So he must have internalized it if he's even dreaming about it. So... Maybe Marco left the Church of Scientology and maybe he is now what is deemed as a suppressive person. But Elvis was probably a suppressive person as well. Let's not forget the type of mother and grandmother Priscilla Presley probably is and was. And part of the Vanity Fair article that we started to go over was that Uh, And the portion that I haven't read to you all or discussed with you yet is that Riley stated in that article that she did not attend school. Basically, the policy was um, uh, you could go to school or not go to school. And it was entirely her choice. And she was not required to do so. Therefore, she didn't graduate high school. And I can only deduce that this had something also to do with Scientology because all, is, all that I can tell as far as people that are coming out of their that cult, and especially when they enter as children, which Riley must have, um, as well as Lisa Marie did, as well as Navarone did, at least we know at 17, that the way that they are parented and the way that they are educated is far different than the rest of us are in regards to the relation the the sort of relationships that they have with their parents and how they bond with their parents and what the role that the parent plays if a parent is just someone who drops you off at a particular center and then that child is taken care of or trained or taught the ways of of that particular cult's teaching
arrested, but it was more that I didn't know that I had any other option, you know? Well, a seven-year-old <laughs> signing a, a billion-year yeah. contract sounds outrageous. Right, yeah, but it did bind me emotionally and uh, mentally, and, you know, I wanted to be loyal and keep that contract. I never thought that I ever wouldn't. Uh, separately from the parent who was off doing their own courses and things. I know I've seen in some of the videos that I watch in regards to the Church of Scientology where people are coming out of there saying they've only seen their uh, parents maybe five times a year and they seem extremely naive. And not that, I mean, school is school is school i know that but it just if they just have an air about them that they and they also claim that the, it's as if everything is upside down when they get out of that that cult and i don't even know we don't even know if priscilla and riley are out of it so we are all literally talking about the outcome of a settlement and issues surrounding lisa marie presley's um, estate and Graceland and everything and we're and I don't think I'm focusing enough on if you all haven't already been the fact that we actually are talking about people that may be actively involved in a cult and the way that they relate to each other the way that they are speak to each other or the way uh, that their naivete may be in regards to uh, all of it could be largely based on Scientology. I know in Lisa Marie Presley's The Promenade Trust, she actually, one, is requiring her kids to be educated in the Church of Scientology, period. And two, um, after all of the living descendants or inheritors or beneficiaries of the trust have passed away, 50% of it is going to the Scientologists. So... <sighs> I, when I look at that picture of Navarone and Priscilla going to the Barbie movie, and I've seen it, and, and I saw it with my 27-year-old daughter. It's really great. It's really good if you haven't seen it. Um, but it's, it's kind of like, it's definitely something that a mother should see with their adult daughter. And it talks about a lot of the things that women go through and girls go through growing up, playing with Barbies, the Barbie stereotypes, and then all the things the struggles that women go through just to feel normal and okay and all of that. And I'm like looking at that picture thinking, well, A, the, the mother-son thing going there, I don't know. There's a bit about Ken. That might help. I don't know if somebody that's so far removed from the norm would even relate to that movie. What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world. Wow, this is the real world. <laughs> What's going on? I could hope so. I don't know. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments. That's what I've got for today, guys. Thanks. 75 million years ago, the galaxy was ruled by a tyrant named Zeno. One day, Zeno rounded up various wrongdoers and imprison them in volcanoes on Earth, which was then called 